Volvo EX30 RWD noticeably more efficient than AWD in video range test. Hey there, EV enthusiasts. Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for all things electric vehicles. We're here to bring you the latest news, reviews, and tips to keep you plugged into the exciting world of EVs. But before we dive into today's electrifying content, we need a little spark from you. If you enjoy our videos, please hit that subscribe button and join our growing EV community. And don't forget to like this video. It's the green light that keeps us going. Buyers can count on a longer driving range of roughly one-tenth when sticking with a single motor version. The hot Volvo EX30 model's base rear-wheel drive version delivered, as expected, a noticeably higher range than the top-of-the-line performance version in a new range test by Bjorn Nyland in Norway. The tested Volvo EX30 RWD was equipped with a 69-kWh battery, 64kWh usable, and 20-inch wheels, with the same tires as the performance version tested previously. Nonetheless, the results are over a tenth higher. Get fully charged. Bjorn Island, a veteran of EV testing, conducted the tests at a temperature of about 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius. Because the temperature difference is relatively small, we can assume that the difference in range is mainly related to the powertrain. A 5% lower weight probably helps, too. Our WD is 1,920 kilograms versus 2,020 kilograms in the case of AWD. According to the video, the Volvo EX30 RWD's range was estimated at 257 miles, 414 kilometers, at 56 miles per hour, 90 kilometers per hour. An increase in speed to 75 miles per hour resulted in a 28% lower driving range of 185 miles, 297 kilometers. For reference, the EPA combined result in the U.S. is expected to be 275 miles, although it has 18-inch wheels. Energy consumption was estimated at 254 WH slash mile, 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour, and 354 WH slash mile, 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour, respectively. This is not a Tesla Model Y level of efficiency, but it's not a bad result for a small and boxy EV. Volvo EX30 RWD, 69 kilowatt hours. Results at 56 miles per hour, 90 kilometers per hour. Range of 257 miles. 414 kilometers. Energy consumption of 254 WH slash mile, 158 WH slash km, or 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour. Used battery capacity, 65.4 kilowatt hours, estimated. Temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius. Tay, 20 in Gudia Efficient, 245, 420. Results at 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour. 33% higher than 56 miles per hour. Range of 185 miles, 297 kilometers, down 28%. Energy consumption of 354 WH slash mile, 220 WH slash km, or 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour, up 39%. Used battery capacity, 65.4 kilowatt hours, estimated. Temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius. Tai. 20 in Gudia Efficient, 245, 420. At the lower speed of 56 miles per hour, the difference between the RWD and AWD is 35 miles, almost 16% higher range compared to the Volvo EX30 performance. At the higher speed of 75 miles per hour, the difference was 19 miles, over 11% longer range. Volvo EX30 Twin Motor Perf, Ultra, 69 kilowatt hours. Results at 56 miles per hour, 90 kilometers per hour. Range of 222 miles, 357 kilometers. Energy consumption of 294 WH slash mile, 183 WH slash km, or 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Used battery capacity, 65.4 kilowatt hours, estimated. Temperature of 59 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 degrees Celsius. Tay, 20 in Gudia Efficient, 245, 420. Results at 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour, 33% higher than 56 miles per hour. Range of 166 miles, 267 kilometers, down 25%. Energy consumption of 394 WH slash mile, 245 WH slash km, or 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour, up 34%. Used battery capacity, 65.4 kilowatt hours, estimated. Temperature of 57 degrees Fahrenheit, 14 degrees Celsius. Tay, 20 in Gudia Efficient, 245, 420. In the U.S., 
The entry-level Volvo EX30 will be equipped with 18-inch wheels, which might improve its driving range compared to 20-inch wheels. As we noted above, the EPA estimate is 275 miles. However, even though the Volvo EX30 is now selling very well globally, the model's launch in the U.S. is threatened by the huge tariff increase on EVs produced in China. It will take a few years until Volvo starts production of the EX30 in Europe. The target is 2025. Even then, it's not certain whether exporting them to the U.S. would be viable. Thanks for hanging out with us at EVpedia. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did making this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay up to date with all our future content. And we love hearing from you. So drop a comment below with your thoughts, questions, or even your favorite EV joke. Until next time, keep it electric and stay charged.